Hello, my name is August Dunning, and if this is the first time to this channel, uh, I'm here to tell you what this channel is about. I wrote two books. One is the Phoenix Protocol, and one is Neogenesis. These two books, I'm pretty certain at this point, will lead to a much longer and much healthier lifespan. The idea here is over the years, I watched many, many people on various YouTube channels try to figure out fasting, water fasting, dry fasting, intermittent fasting, all these different fastings. And so I'm a research scientist and I decided to get into the literature and found the works of Shishenikov and Filinov in Russia who invented dry fasting. In fact, Dr. Filinov actually has a clinic in Moscow that performs therapeutic medical dry fasts. That's not why you're here. I write in the Neogenesis book that I think I've determined one of the causes of aging is, believe it or not, user error. If you don't use this thing correctly, you're going to damage it enough to make it age. And in Neogenesis and in the Phoenix Protocol, I show you how to repair the damage, get yourself back to normal, get yourself to a stasis where your lifespan may be significantly extended. Dry fasting the Russian way is a dry fasting that involves water, but nothing ingested. It just allows you to shower and bathe and wash your teeth and spit it out and never swallow the water so that you can use that water to have a more pleasant fast, but also to help flush the lymphatic system out during the dry fast. Because one of the most important aspects of anti-aging is the one that's very rarely addressed, which is detoxification. In fact, detoxification is more important than nutrition, according to David Wolf, and I agree with Dave. You see, over the years, you're exposed to every number and type and form of environmental toxins in the water, in the air, in the soil, in the food, in the processed foods especially. And these build up. You know, your body can't use them. Many of them your body can't get rid of. And so it sequesters them in fat cells. There's also the metabolic byproducts of tryptophan and tyrosine and these other metabolic byproducts that also build up and, re and reduce the amount of CoQ10 available for antioxidation. So when you really analyze what's been going on in the dietary fasting and these other ineffectual fields, what you're seeing is, for example, you exercise to lose weight. And what you do is you will draw on fat cells and those fat cells will allow some of the toxins stored to go into the bloodstream and then they're restored in the fat cells. So you never really get rid of your accumulated toxins. These have a significant effect on what is called inflammaging, which is the chronic low-grade inflammation that wears out all your systems over time and results in the wrinkle skin, the crepey skin, the aches and pains, the arthritis, and all this stuff that increases your likelihood to not survive. So the first thing that dry fasting does is really the most important thing is to reduce on the first dry fast a significant amounts of these stored toxins. It does other things as well. One of the things that happens when you aren't drinking and not eating on the third day, PKA, which is critical for digestion and pancreatic function, is turned off. But when PKA is turned on, your stem cells sleep. So you reduce the signal, they wake up, they regenerate in all 220 niches in a system-wide, body-wide regeneration of your stem cell populations. In particular, your muse stem cells. You'll read about this in the book, The Phoenix Protocol. These cells are able to replace damaged tissue, to restructure and remodel damaged parts of your body, only with dry fasting. Dry fasting is remarkable in this respect, and it really works you'll end up seeing a lot of beneficial effects because, as I said, it's being used in Russia as a way to heal major illnesses. But that's not why we're using it here. I'm repurposing it for its detoxification and rejuvenation effects, which out of hand will probably repair a lot of the damage and illnesses that you may have, but that's not why I'm doing it. This is specifically redesigned and redirected to do the regeneration part, to repair the damage caused by aging and toxins. As I invented this one and proved it out and people are very happy with it, I decided it wasn't enough because one of the things that dry fasting doesn't do is it doesn't build muscle and bone. And sarcopenia 
and the loss of muscle mass over time, and osteoporosis, the loss of bone strength over time, are the things that will cripple you and send you into a nursing home if you don't fix it. Neogenesis addresses that. It shows a three-minute workout per day. That if you do this, you'll restore strength and bone density. You'll also stimulate the release of a bone hormone that no one seems to be looking at, called osteocalcin. Osteocalcin is not just released during lifting weight, but when it is, it's released and goes into the system and used in your pancreas, your regenerative organs, your brain, your hippocampus, all through the body to keep those, those functional parts working better. It controls sugar. It controls insulin function. It's one of those things that if you don't do it, if you're not active, the result is pretty obvious. Is obesity in our society from the crappy food we eat? Probably very much so, but it's also from our inactivity. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. So when you combine these two books, this is a one-two punch against aging. And when you employ these things, you'll notice very quickly rapid benefits in strength, durability, and invincibility in a sense, because that's what you're trying to do. My theory, as I said at the beginning of this video, is that aging is due to user error. These two books represent the first two documents that start to write the owner's manual for the human body. I suggest you share it with your friends. And those of you that have listened to this channel and follow my work, please send this out to your friends to introduce what we're up to here. I can only tell you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. But this is what I've done. And I've seen significant differences between the last three or four years of doing this compared to when I started. I've done my first day and age test. I'm 66, not 70 now. This seems to be proof that we are a protein-dependent regeneration machine that really might not have an end date. There is no shelf life on us if we treat it right. So I encourage you to get the books. I encourage you to write to me. My email address is in the books, and you can also comment on the videos that I post here. And hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. I'm not here to make a fortune. I'm here to change the landscape. I'm here to give you the ability to stay healthy and avoid doctor's offices, hospital visits, and the old age home. I, you know, I can only leave it up to you to decide. See you next time.